So you are one of my OGs <laughs> from the New York <laughs> chapter. So Brianna, tell us a little bit about how long, tell us how long you've been with New Look and kind of what attracted you to the organization. Okay, so I've been with New Look ever since April 2019. And what attracted me was my friend who's also a part of New Look, she's also an OG, Ashley Foster. During practice, she would always tell me about this program. And so like one day we didn't have practice. So I decided to go with her when she had a meeting and I automatically fell in love. At first I was nervous. And then Miss Latoya made me feel comfortable and made me get into it and just connect with everyone else. And now I have lifelong friends from all over. And, and this is track practice. So you're on the track team, but you, you know, and you kind of infiltrated, right? Like you, you roll through. <laughs> so <laughs> Ashley would come through and it's like, who is her little friend? Hello. And, and you, but you were consistent and you just kept on coming through. You came to activities. So why, um, what are some of the things that you've done with New Look that really made you stay, that really made you want to keep on coming back? Okay, so first things first, um, during the program, like during the meetings, um, just the discussions that we would have, like discussions that you wouldn't have in school with your teachers, it just felt authentic and real. So I kept on coming back for that. And then the trips were very educational, but fun. So um, the first trip that I went on with New Look was um, the Follow the Money Tour with Ms. Jessica. And I'll never forget that one because we visited Goldman Sachs and a bunch of entrepreneurs that were also Black women. So that was very motivational to me. And we also met with a bunch of realtors and people in real estate. And that's what I would like to do. And also people in the medical field. So it was just like a whole bunch of things that I was interested in. And then um, during the summit that summer, it was also my 16th birthday. So they celebrated my birthday with me because I wasn't home to celebrate it with my family. So that made me feel like I was part of the family, especially due to that. And then after that, I just kept on coming and coming. And then um, they introduced me to the I Can't But You Can campaign. And that helped me get into voting and helping others vote because I'm not of age to vote yet. So it helped me feel like I had some kind of power to help others. So let's roll back just for a smidge, right? Because let's talk about the trips. So you went on the follow the money and you went on the summit. Now the youth summit, for those who may not know what, well, actually follow the money. It's not kind of is what it sounds like, right? Right. So the follow the money tour is a, um, an experience that Ms. Jessica, our director of financial literacy created to provide our young people with a platform for learning about how does money work, right? You can't have financial literacy without knowing how does money work? Where does, where is our money kept? How, what are the types of investments that we can make? So the trip that you're talking about, um, we did one in DC, but you're talking about the one that we did in New York. And that was what we focused on art investment, financial investment, and what was the other entrepreneurship? So what did you get out of what did you get out of the finance the month the follow the money tour like what was something like we had fun and you met some people but what was one thing that you learned that you can take away from that experience i learned how to invest and how to budget my money properly because on trips you guys gave us per diem and that helped me learn how to save and spend wisely and then on top of that i networked with a lot of people Mm -hmm. so for young people what is per diem per diem is money that you are given each day and our young people um use them for food so if there was a session that we weren't paying for or that we weren't you know we weren't uh, a part of that process and the young people had a little bit of you know free time then they can use that money for them to purchase food okay so let's so, yes so i'm going to ask brianna i'm going to interject and say brianna you talked about a lot of things that you were interested in um, from Goldman Sachs to real estate. What is your spark? Have you identified that? And has ushers, how has Usher's Look helped you identify that? Because you've been exposed to so many different areas in the short time that you've been a part of UNL. So what do you, what do you imagine that your spark is? Okay, so first, when I first started UNL, my spark was track and I believe the medical field. Now it's changed to advocacy and entrepreneurship along with medicine. Mm. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot that you can, there's a lot that you can do with that. Um, you brought up a moment ago, um, 
the I can't, but you can. And I remember, do you remember when I asked you to do that? Not really. <laughs> you, okay, I'm gonna, I'll really. remind you. Okay, so I said, you know, I said, Miss Brianna, we have an I can't, but you can. We think that you would make a great moderator. Can you, you know, this is what the moderator does. They help to move the conversation. They ask some questions. And the first time I asked you, you said, mm, I don't think so, Miss Latoya. That's not really <laughs> my thing, right? And then I asked, I said, you know, I pushed you a little bit and I said, you know, I think that you can really do it. We wouldn't ask you otherwise. Do you remember that conversation now? Yes, now I remember it. Talk I was very nervous. That. Yeah, I was very nervous to do it because I'm not the person, I don't like to be in the forefront. I like to be behind the scenes. So when Miss Latoya asked me to ask people questions and talk to them on um, Zoom, I was nervous. But once she pushed me and once I got into it, I really enjoyed it. And then from there, I kept on doing the meetings. And can I tell you that after that first one, you said, oh, that I was nervous, but I did it. When can I do the next one? And how many of them have you done so far? I don't, I haven't kept track, but I remember the one, um, I actually didn't know how to speak Spanish, but I learned Spanish for that one to do it. Tell us about that. So I believe with that one, we did it with Ms. Yerby, and we were talking to people from Dominican Republic about how they vote over there and deal with the de um, democratic process over there. And so I was kind of translating, as a moderator, I was um, translating for our English speakers and trying to ask the questions in Spanish for our Spanish speakers. It was kind of difficult because I don't speak Spanish at all, but I got through with it. And they helped me. Ms. Yerby helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. You really pushed yourself for that one. So, um, all right, so we're coming to the end of our conversation. So I wanted to ask you, um, what would you, um, what would you share with a young person who may be watching this right now or a parent who may be watching this? What kind of advice or tip would you have for them? Um, for the young person, I would say stay consistent with the program. If you're consistent, you will get a lot out of it. Like I've gotten scholarships, networking. I've done so much just because I was consistent. Thank, thank you so much, Brianna. And thank you no problem. Toya, for having the conversation with Brianna. That's what it's all about. Uh, Ms. Latoya is certainly passionate about the work that she does at UNL. And Brianna, we thank you for sharing your Sunday with us and sharing just a little bit about your experience with UNL. And we look forward to great things for you as you continue to Show your spark, share your spark, and be your spark. So have a wonderful Sunday.